Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of palatine bone. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting with the general information. The palatine bone takes part in the formation of the cavities of the nose, mouth, orbit and the pterygopalatine fossa. Let's have a look at this bone. This is the anterior and lateral view of the bone. And to understand it better, let's see the bone separately. So, as you can see, this is the palatine bone. This bone consists of two plates uniting at a right angle and three processes. The plates include the horizontal and the perpendicular plate. Let's have a look at them. This is the posterior view of the bone. And this plate which you can see is the horizontal plate. This is the perpendicular plate. And as you can see, they unite at a right angle with each other. The processes include the pyramidal process, orbital process, and the sphenoidal process. We will discuss each of these paths separately and see what all anatomical features they possess. Starting with the horizontal plate. This part of the palatine bone complements the maxillary palatine process posteriorly to form the bony palate. The medial border of the horizontal plate meets the medial border of the contralateral bone to form the nasal crest. And on the inferior surface of the horizontal plate is the greater palatine foramen through which the palatine vessels and nerves leave the greater palatine canal. Let's have a look. This process outlined in the orange is the palatine process of the maxilla. And it unites with this horizontal plate of the palatine bone to form the bony palate. The medial border of the horizontal plates joins the contralateral bone to form this nasal crest. And this is the greater palatine foramen through which the palatine nerves and vessels leave the greater palatine canal. Moving on to the perpendicular plate. This plate adjoins the nasal surface of the maxilla. The medial surface has the ethmoidal crest superiorly and the conchal crest inferiorly for the inferior nasal concha. There is the greater palatine groove on the lateral surface of the perpendicular plate. Let's have a look. This is the posterior view of the bone. As you can see, this crest is the ethmoidal crest. And this crest below it is the conchal crest for the inferior nasal concha. This again is the posterior view of the bone with a slightly different angle. This is the perpendicular plate. And this is the greater palatine groove on the lateral surface. With this we complete the plates of the palatine bone and move on to the processes. Starting with the pyramidal process. It projects backwards and laterally from the junction of the horizontal and the perpendicular plates. And nerves and vessels penetrate the process vertically through the lesser palatine canals. Let's have a look. So this process projecting backwards is the pyramidal process. And as you can see it projects from the junction of the horizontal and the perpendicular plate. These small holes are the lesser palatine foramen through which the nerves and vessels penetrate. Next is the orbital process. It projects from the anterior end of the superior border of the perpendicular plate. And it forms the posterior part of the inferior orbital wall. Let's have a look. This process projecting from the superior border of the perpendicular plate is the orbital process. And this is how it forms the posterior part of the inferior orbital wall. This small shaded part is the orbital process of the palatine bone. Lastly, we have the sphenoidal process. It projects from the posterior end of the superior border of the perpendicular plate. And there is a notch present between the orbital process and the sphenoidal process called the sphenopalatine notch. Let's have a look. This process projecting from the posterior end of the superior border of the perpendicular plate is the sphenoidal process. And this notch present between the orbital and the sphenoidal process is the sphenopalatine notch. With this we complete both the paths. So that is it for this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.